If you think that nighttime is when the danger happens, you are wrong. For the heart and brain, the most dangerous time of day is actually the first few hours after you wake up, and most people have no idea why. Let me show you what I mean right now. Sit still and notice your breathing. Now, stand up. Stand up quickly. Go ahead. And if your heart rate jumps, your head feels a little lightheaded or your body feels tense, that is the same physiological surge that happens every morning. When you wake up, your body releases cortisol to raise blood sugar, adrenaline to increase heart rate, and constricting signals that tighten blood vessels so you can get up and move easier. That surge is normal, but here is where the danger begins. If your body never fully relaxed the night before, or your nervous system stayed stuck in fight or flight during sleep, that morning surge stacks on top of already elevated blood pressure, thicker blood from overnight dehydration, stiffer blood vessels, and more reactive platelets. That exact combination is why heart attacks and strokes cluster in the morning hours. This is not random, and it's not bad luck. At night, your body is supposed to shift into deep parasympathetic mode where blood pressure drops, Vessels relax, inflammation clears, and the brain flushes waste through the lymphatic system. But late eating, alcohol, shallow breathing, sleeping flat on your stomach with poor neck position, chronic stress, and even scrolling through your phone before bed can prevent that reset from happening. And when that reset fails night after night, the heart and brain wake up already stressed, already inflamed, already under pressure. And over years, that pattern quietly raises cardiovascular and stroke risk without any obvious warning signs. Now here is the part that gives you control. Prevention starts the night before. You want to stop eating at least three hours before bed so insulin and blood sugar can fall. Hydrate earlier in the evening so blood does not thicken by morning. And sleep on your side so your next day is neutral to support your brain drainage and venous return. Before bed, take five slow nasal breaths with a long exhale to shut down the stress response. Then in the morning, do not shock your system. Before checking your phone, sit up, take slow breaths, pump your calves, which is your second heart, and open your hands like this for 30 seconds to help circulate blood. Expose your eyes to natural light within the first 10 minutes of walking to normalize cortisol instead of spiking it. Your body's not fragile. It is very, very responsive. One factor most people never hear about is blood viscosity and clot behavior across the week, not just overnight. After days of low movement, especially after travel, long work days or weekends with little activity, the blood becomes more sluggish and platelets become more reactive. That makes early morning pressure changes more dangerous. Even if your numbers look normal on paper, another overlooked issue is sudden temperature shifts. Hot showers first thing in the morning can cause rapid vessel dilation followed by rebound constriction, forcing the heart to work harder during an already vulnerable window. Heavy caffeine on an empty stomach does similar things as well, driving a fast heart rate before circulation has fully adapted. Even tight clothing around the neck or abdomen can impair venous return and briefly increase pressure to the brain. The goal in the morning is smooth circulation, not stimulation. When blood moves freely and vessels adapt gradually, the heart and brain stay protected during their most sensitive hours. Most heart attacks and strokes are not caused by something going wrong that morning. They are set up what happens night after night. Change the setup and you'll dramatically change the outcome. That is not fear, that is physiology. And it puts the power back right into your hands again. And these simple little changes that you can change right now will make tremendous changes in your whole physiology so you can stay healthy. I hope you enjoyed this video and please share it with your friends and family. Leave your comments below and most important, make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.